holiday. Most of us are getting back to life as yeah. usual, right? But for pets and animals, that's not the case. Shelters across the country, right? I mean, like all across the country, see an increase of pets showing up, like a 30 to 60 percent increase in lost pets every July 5th. Check the calendar. It's July 5th. Matt Venezia, Live at Companion Animal Alliance. To learn a bit about the issue, they're expecting an increase as well, Matt. Yeah, they absolutely are. You know, we're, we're here learning a little bit more about the matter and Heidi Weatherby here, the Senior Manager of Communications and Events here with Companion Animal Alliance is going to share a little bit of information with us. But Heidi, we want to pan here for a second to get a look at the setup that you guys have here. This is Desmond in here, the Rottweiler, hanging out in what looks to be a bigger room. And James can show the rest of the, the shot here with, you know, some kennels in the back. So what is the setup like with some guys like Desmond kind of getting the, the luxury space here, if you will, for and sure. then some kennels back there? So these are our showcase areas where we try to put some of these larger animals because they'll be more comfortable or maybe some animals that we want our people that come in and see you know we don't have we have such a variety of, of animals here not just you know pit bulls and terriers Desmond's a sweet boy too he's a big bear of a dog but he's a good boy and he's been loving these extra spaces for sure yeah he's got his food in there a tennis ball he looks all set up and enjoying it here early this morning now Aside from just July 5th, though, because you obviously will have different dogs, different pets in these showcase rooms, on a day like July 5th, we just mentioned the numbers, 30 to 60 percent increase in dogs coming in, lost animals coming in. Um, how do you manage the numbers? The intake of the animals coming in is so high around this time of year. Sure. How do you manage, you know, making sure everyone's got a spot? You know, it's puppy kitten season. Things get warm. Animals do what they do. So intake numbers grow. We do a lot to make sure that we can uh, make sure everybody's comfortable here. We have the capacity to care everybody in a healthy, hygienic way. Our fosters are absolutely massive to our success. We've got close to 70 animals in foster care right now. And then we also do transports. Uh, two weekends ago, we moved almost 100 animals to the East Coast in shelters in Virginia, Maryland, and North Carolina, I think. They had space. They have better uh, adoption opportunities for these animals. And it helped us open up some space here for more in animals we anticipate coming in. Heidi Weatherby right here helping do her part on the communications front here with Companion Animal Alliance. Everyone nationwide trying to get on the forefront of this issue. 30 to 60 percent increase in trying to find animals, lost animals, uh, their new forever home. With that, guys, we'll send it back to you. Thank you so much, Matt. Very, very